welcome back to another video. So this is the first part of the Milton Guide and today's video I'm going to show you how to put up a basher. So the first thing you want to make sure you're doing is to clear the ground around you so get rid of any twigs, branches, rocks, stones etc. So when you're sleeping right, you don't um, feel a lump and make yourself so uncomfortable. As you can see, I have cleared a nice patch for me to lay on, so there's no rocks, twigs, etc. in the way. So that's step one, have a nice flat surface. Step two is now you've cleared a nice surface, you want to get your basher out and start to get the two points you meet, which is the middle of the basher, as you'll see in a second, and time between two trees big enough to start securing it. Once you've tied the basher to the tree and secured it, um, pull each end of the basher out so it's tight and peg it down to the floor to keep the basher secure. Once you've pegged it in on all four corners and the two middles, your basher is set up. Bungees, bungees, pegged, pegged, pegged. And that literally is how to put a shirt, AK shirt or up. As you can see, I've got a little bunch of uh, natural fern, so I'm not going to do a full bunch of that because it takes a little while to manage to show you a little bit. But I'm going to do a little thing of me just covering the back of my just breaking up the uh, colour line. This is roughly about five metres away, so as you can see, it's a bit of the back of so I will take it back to the So this is about 20 to 25 metres away, so as you can see, I should say it's still here. still see it, it's really easy, but in fact, don't see the colour of it. So the next setup I'm showing you is how to do a lean-to. So all you do is literally um, tie the front two edges to the trees and pull it back and peg it. So as you're going to see, I'll do it now. With the lean-to shelter, you use the two front edges of the basher, which is that, tie one end to that tree, that at one end to that tree, the bungee, have it high as you want it, low down, for instance, and then at the back, as you can see, you have the hole of the basher. Three, so it'll look like that, roughly, and I'll take a, another little video of it. So this is another way of um, having your basher up. So you can have one side, the wind, wherever the way the wind's coming. So for instance, if the wind's coming this way, it's going to hit that straight on the top. And you're not going to affect it. And if you were camping, or for instance, you'd have it like that. And also you could have a little fire pit there. You know, and build a little um, natural barrier. So all the woods and all the heat goes into your basher. So I'll show you the next step of the lean to the shelter. Now you've got the um, basher type bungee. Now you're going to do is peg it. So as you're going to see now, it's all I do is Pull it tight and peg it to the ground. That's it, that simple. As you can see, that's the lean to shell done. Next 
roughly a right angle there and literally slanted down so I'll take you a little walk around like I said you can um, raise it up it's quite saggy there follow me so you can raise these up which I'll show you as I, like I said you can like, put all your kit along that back edge and have a mat there sleep under it so this is what it's like when you raise it as you can see good thing with bunnies is you can literally lift it up like that and this end there you go there's plenty of room you can sit down make a tea load your weapons up or whatever for a meal sim and that is that so literally that is two simple ways how to put a basher up the a frame which i said the a which i showed a minute ago and this is the lean to so both really easy i'll um literally takes not even five minutes to put both of them up if you know what you're doing so this is a little um basher video and then obviously once once you've um built your shelter up you can start rolling kit out on a meal sim i suggest leave when you want to go to bed unroll your sleeping bag then because if you have your sleeping bag out you never know all little um bugs or insects can um crawl inside make it uncomfortable for you but it's up to you that's just my preference i'll uh, get all my kit out or whatever i need leave my roll mat out and then have my sleeping bag and my bag and just for when i'm about to sleep so you don't uh like i said it or if it rains doesn't get damp or for instance um with when setting up a shelter, if you have your Milson bag or your Bergen, for instance, whatever bag, I always have my basher at the top of my bag. So if I, it's raining, it's the first first piece of kit I have to get out. I don't have to get my sleeping bag and all my other bits out. So it's the first piece of kit, get my shelter up, and my next bit's obviously my sleeping bag and my ground sheet and that, and any other bits, warm clothes, etc., etc. So that is the Lean To Shelter another good way also you can uh, tie from that middle bit you could tie it to that tree so it literally pushes the inside out so it could be more room but that's it also if a bit of a wind does catch coming that way it's obviously gonna blow keep blowing it up for instance but it shouldn't be too bad once you've finished it um, with your rubbish whatever I always have a carry bag to pull it all in because as you can see there's bits of rubbish here there and over there is a campsite it's you can't see it from distance but someone's been camping there and there's literally rubbish everywhere as you can see coke bottles there so always pick up your rubbish just even when you're set up and you've checked everything double check again because you want to leave the um, woodland how you got it especially if it's someone's site and the site owner sees sees all the rubbish it's not going to be too happy so this is the end of the video um don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you on part two of the meals and guys series thank you